All right, what's up everyone? So I saw this uh, on social media yesterday morning. Uh, there was an interview with Taryn Hatcher uh, talking to, about with Jeff Carter. And she brought up about, you know, if he wanted to come back to Philly, he said, you know, he doesn't want to leave LA. But, you know, the 2010 Cup run and everything that was really good when he was with the Flyers. And, uh, you know, I saw that there was a, a lot of people that were, you know, debating should the Flyers bring back Carter. And I figured I'd put my, in my, put in my input here. So, um, I mean, for me, there's three things I would have to say. One, the salary cap. Two, the way Carter's playing right now. And three, depending on where the Flyers would put him in the lineup. So, obviously, one with the salary cap. I mean, Carter, he's 35. He has two years left at 5.2. And I don't know what the Flyers would do there. I mean, the Kings would probably have to save around 30 to 50% 30 to of the cap. Uh, they'd have to retain that salary for the Flyers to even afford it. And the Flyers would have to give up one of their, I, I guess, bigger guys uh, for a cap. I mean, I, I, I mean, Konechny, no. Provorov, no. To me, uh, Giroux, he has a no trade clause. I mean, to, f honestly, it would have to be either Van Riemsdyk, Gassisper, or maybe Voracek. And I'm, to me, I'm honestly, I'm basically leaning more towards Gassisper and Van Riemsdyk. Uh, I just don't see the Flyers getting rid of Voracek. Uh, and, you know, the same thing with Couturier as well. I mean, there's no way they're getting rid of Couturier. Uh, I mean, that, that, to me, that that's just a no-brainer. So, I mean, it would have to be one of them three players. And for me, it would have to be probably more towards Van Riemsdyk, but I don't know if the Kings would want to do that because they would have to, one, they already, if, if this happens, they'd have to retain at least 30 to 50% or maybe even a little bit less than that or more of uh, Carter's contract. And they would be taking on the... Uh, so Vernon's like, this is the second year of his contract for the next three years of 7 million with JVR. And I don't know if they want to do that because they are in rebuild mode right now. So, I mean, we're going to have to see what happens. Uh, number two, the way Carter's playing right now, if the Flyers had him on the team right now, he'd be tied for the league leading goals with Konechny with 17. He's playing really well. Um, and th this kind of leads into number three with the way that he is, uh, you know, where they put him in the lineup. And I would honestly, I'd rather have him at the second line center. Uh, because one, I think it helps out their center position because, you know, the whole thing with Giroux, they put Giroux back at center, uh, last night against LA. And that was a very good line with Konechny and Van Riemsdyk. Uh, and if they say they do keep Frost down low and if they want to make a playoff push, uh, and they're, they're still in the hunt for a playoff push. I mean, like from Carolina to like Columbus, it's separated by like one or two points. I mean, it's just so stacked and everything. Uh, and if they want to, I, I guess if they want to figure out something at the center, if you want to bring him back, I'd say put him at the second line center. You keep Hayes at the third line that has more depth into the lineup. Uh, and then because they don't have Patrick and Limbaugh, they're not going to have them. Uh, I mean, we don't know with Patrick, he could play this year. He could not. Limbaugh, he's done for the season. So we don't know what happens there. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind this for the Flyers. I mean, I think if they did everything that I said right there, uh, I mean, I think I wouldn't mind it depending on who they gave up, if they gave up a pick or whatever. Um, but again, I mean, I think there is some better options, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. But yeah, there's definitely some better options at the trade deadline. So we're going to have to see what happens. I think if the Flyers want to make a playoff push and I think they are one of the teams that can definitely beat every team in this division, I'm thinking that they have to do something at the trade deadline. I don't know what that is. I don't know what F Chuck Fletcher could do. But they're going to have to do something because they definitely need to spark up their bottom six at some point. So my podcast, my articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye.